Hello, my name is Teresa and I'm getting on here today because I want to share a testimony and I don't usually like to get on videos and stuff like this. I have in the past a little bit to try to motivate people to work out and such, but um, I need to get on here because I want to get this word out. Something happened a year ago that was really scary to me. And I want to make sure it doesn't happen to anyone else. Um, it's still very dear to my heart that it happened. And I just want to make sure that if this would reach one person even and help one person, I, I would be thankful that I didn't hold it inside. Um, like I said, I don't like to get on here, but it's worth it in order to get, reach one person even. So I'm going to read the testimony that I wrote down. I, the reason I wrote it down was I did not want to forget some of the details that were so subtle. The enemy really tried to sneak in. I have believed in the Bible since, like I said, when, when I was 10 years old. And I really don't just say I believe the Bible. I try to do what God says. I try to work on myself. I try to do inner healing. I try to make sure that I have forgiveness towards people that I don't. Um, Someone's going to make you mad. Someone's going to cause you to have your feelings hurt. But you've got to forgive. If you don't forgive, then that's opening up the door for the enemy to somehow come in. And it could be just the littlest thing. It could be someone didn't talk to you right. It could be someone said something to hurt your feelings. It could be, um, well, you name it. You know the unforgivenesses that you've had in your heart towards somebody that you had to deal with. And if you didn't deal with them, you know about them now. And some of them we don't know about. Um, they're subtle. They're they're deep in there, and sometimes it comes out when you get triggered. And um, in the future, I probably want to discuss OCD, but um, that's not what I want to discuss right now. Right now, what I would like to discuss is what happened a year ago. Um, so here, I'm going to read the testimony because it's a little easier just to get it out, so I don't make this too long. Um, so I wrote on August 5th, 2019, yesterday was very difficult. The door was opened up during that meeting with, I'm not going to say his name. Um, see, I have a home-based business that I've been doing for a year and a half, two years. I don't remember anymore. Um, and I, I, you know, <laughs> I'm kind of a shy person, kind of an introvert. So it's hard for me to want to just pick up the phone and call people and say hey you need this awesome thing because it really is awesome I still still love these products they're amazing they've changed my life and I want to be able to share them with people but that's not again the main reason for even this video it's more like how the enemy snuck in through this great thing um, it can be exciting wanting to share the thing with people it can be so exciting that you go out and get books and go to meetings and listen to other people's testimonies about how they did with their business and take their advice. Well, I got a, I had this one meeting, it was like a coach or something to help me um, to figure out what was needed to get my uh, a boost in my business. Well, in the end of the meeting, and it was great advice, everything was great except for the end of the meeting he told me to watch a movie. and. I hung up with him nicely and stuff and then I was intrigued and so I decided to go look for the movie. I found it. I'm not going to say the name of the movie because I, I don't recommend that anyone watches this. Um, I'm trying to see the order of, of events that this happened because it was like a, a, a four or five day span time of, that this happened, um, if that makes sense. Um, so. In that movie, there happened to be a genie, and so a couple of days later, a friend of mine had sent me a thing, so how convenient. A friend of mine sent me a thing that seemed to have the same type of information. It was so amazing. So I was like, wow, this is amazing. And so I listened to the six hour thing, and it seemed so innocent. It even seemed like something that I already believe. So I listened to it. Um, and I also had gone in this like five day time span or span of time, went to, I'll say a friend's house 
and one of my girls walked up with this little toy and it happened to be the same thing that I saw in the movie. It was a, a genie and it was singing, probably spells, it was singing things and it kind of caught my attention but then I disregarded and then let me see, a day or two later I finished the other thing that my friend, a different friend had sent me, not the coach. It was that six hour thing that, like I said, coincided with the movie that I don't wanna share um, what the name of it is and I don't wanna share the video, the audio thing that I listened to for like six hours. So, let me see here. I finished the thing before I went to my friend's house. After the coach meeting, I went to this watch party. Um, it was a, I'll just say it was something to do with my business, okay? And in the middle, in like an intermission, um, again, don't wanna name names of anything. It was a, a great thing, but then in the middle of it, I'm gonna have to just say, I am gonna name this thing. There was muscle testing. I got up and tried it, and this coincided with all this other stuff. It was a subtle thing that kept happening. And again, I thought it was from God even, like, oh wow, I was tapping into something I was supposed to have all along. And I wanna cry when I think about this because I, I, felt, I felt like I fell short and I should have known better, and that I should have been listening to um, my inner gut saying no don't do this but honestly I wasn't hearing that and it was only till after that that the inner parts of me that know not to do something like this were crying out don't do this and then I discovered not to do it but um, so I got up and I tried it again didn't see it coming I got up I tested it with a bottle of water and it worked and then I tested it with some chocolate and it worked um, as I was sitting there, uh, my, my sister, I can say her name, she was with me. Um, we have been sharpening each other for years. Iron sharpens iron. We've been picking each other up and saying, no, go this way, don't, don't go that way. That's, that's veering off of God's path. We've helped each other like that for years, since we were early teens. Um, this time, um, <coughs> She looked at me and, and was like, she was like, listen, don't, don't do that when I got up to do the muscle testing thing. So um, I didn't take the warning, and but after that, I obviously chewed on what she had said after I started piecing all these little tiny subtle events together. And so during that meeting, I even like was talking to someone and expressed concern for someone that I was like, oh man, I'm really, really scared that this might be happening to this person. And someone said, none of your business. I said, oh, okay. And I felt shut down, but I felt like I knew there was something inside of me that was crying out for a, another believer. And then I had expressed at another time in that meeting, um, concern for someone else and again got told it was none of my business and that was fine so let's switch gears and go back over to the movie that the coach told me to watch okay um, like I said it was all tied into this muscle testing and stuff like that so I went and let me see here's back to my journaling now back to the emotion thing Back to the movie that I shouldn't have watched that that coach had um, asked me to watch. And I'm sorry if this video is confusing, but I just want to get this testimony out. I really do, because I just don't want this to happen to anybody. So, um, I got up after listening to a six-hour thing, and I just thought, I'm going to try this again, because it totally worked at that party. So, I tried it with a bottle of wine, and it worked. It totally worked. I tried it with water and I tried it with chocolate. I just decided to try it again. And I kept trying it with different things, but those are the three things that I really remember. Um, wine is something that I definitely love the taste of, um, but I don't drink anymore. 
Um, that's another testimony in itself, but we're not talking about that right now. Um, so um, it works, okay? The muscle testing does work. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm saying, be careful. That's what I'm saying. I don't think we're supposed to be doing this. I, I personally believe that when you ask God into your heart and you ask him to be Lord over your life, that he does send his Holy Spirit to comfort people and to guide them in the right directions. You know, like you can feel it. It's a, it's a spiritual tummy ache of not to do something. You know, <laughs> sounds a lot like muscle testing, but it's opposite of that because it told me not to do the muscle testing, but I didn't listen. There was only a subtle, subtle feeling not to, but for the, like I said, it snuck right in. So the day before I wrote this testimony, um, it was Sunday morning and it was August 4th and I was just putting dishes away and I started complaining about the house to my husband and how, oh, there's such a mess and it was such a random thing because we don't do that here. We really don't fight like that. Not that we don't ever have fights because we do. But my husband and I got in this crazy fight and it was just like out of nowhere. And I can't read my writing here. But he said he was gonna call the cops. <laughs> it was crazy. It was like we were fighting in this really weird way that didn't seem like what we'd ever done before and we don't fight like that. So, um, no, back to um, the day before I wrote this testimony down on August 4th, I basically started complaining. I was doing some dishes and I was complaining to my husband all of a sudden out of nowhere. And I just started like starting a fight with him out of nothing, out of nowhere, and it just got really escalated. And that's all I'm going to say. It was so bad that it was like, Something we would never like do. We don't really have big fights like that. We get along really well and we communicate when we're having disagreements. We really try to, you know, I'm not saying we don't ever take it too far in a fight. We do, just like anybody else. But I, I like to think that we have a great marriage. I think that he would say the same, to be honest. We work really well together. Um, but he basically, it, it got so bad that he had to call my sister and my brother-in-law just to kind of get through to me better on because I was just to, just to calm me down so I got on the phone with them and all that stuff and then you know after some time had passed I just was laying in bed and just like saying God please help me I don't even know what just happened and I don't even know what's gonna happen I just I can tell that this is like really bad so I was praying and stuff to him well, um, prayer in the morning was going to be happening um, concerning, we, we would go on to a Monday night, Monday morning prayer at 5 a.m. And I renounced muscle testing that same night before that morning. And I'll tell you right now, I know that I was supposed to go, I don't know if that's the word, renounced. I'm trying to say like I didn't want to do it. And I said, Yahweh, I don't want to do this. I can tell that it's bad. But um, it was like probably the best thing I could have ever done. So I called my friend. I called a very dear friend. And I said, look, I need to come have tea. I need to tell you what happened. And, um, and I had to tell her about the open door that happened with a, and a six hour audio thing that I listened to and how all the domino effect after that happened was muscle testing, the party, um, the video that the coach said. It's like the enemy was sneaking right in. And if anyone thinks they're above that happening to them, I don't, I don't care who you are. If you have an open door, we are people. And our, we have a duty um, on this earth. It's not just to live this life and have fun and have things that we like and no. Yahweh wants a relationship with us and you know there's someone that hates that and it's Satan he wants to steal that relationship he wants to steal it he wants to devour um, 
So I was telling my friend, my very good friend over tea, this whole story, because I was like, whoa, I can't believe what just happened. It really messed me up for a good few weeks. It really did. So it's not like it just ended there. I was pondering on this and asking God to forgive me and just felt like I have a responsibility to share this with somebody that they, that they don't do this, don't get involved in it. So, um, so I told her that where the door opened up and the, all the things I listened to and wa um, watched and all that stuff and about the party I'd gone to and how one of my girls walked up with that genie and all these little things. And I prayed and asked for forgiveness and I told my friend, my other really good friend about this and we were doing um, a challenge together and in the challenge she needed me to um, work out with her for, for a video, so I did. And you know, I even told her, before you come over, I have a huge sit on my nose. I don't think you want me in your video. It's gonna be crazy. Um, but I followed through and still did it. And um, <laughs> I looked down, um, I was doing something. I was going to bed for the night or something. Not even, that day was over, the, the video was over, and it was, it was, we had a fun time and everything. But I was like, ah, oh, my nose. And I looked, and I looked in the mirror, and I'm like, ow! <laughs> I had a huge zit. Like, okay, I don't love my nose, but it's my nose, okay? I'm gonna just share this. <laughs> right here is kind of a dimple in my nose, but that was completely gone, because the zit was so huge. I had never experienced anything like that in my life. But as I was looking at it, I noticed that I had black polish on. And I was like, what the heck? I'm not even saying black polish is wrong. But it just kind of matched up to all this other witchcrafty stuff that was like right there in front of my face. I took the polish off my nails immediately. I even knew that I painted one of my girl's nails um, black that same day. You know, like I said, it looked pretty and... I went and I, she was sleeping. I took her polish off in her sleep and I threw that polish away so quick and I immediately said, Lord, please forgive me, you know? So, and we did, let me see, that's everything I wrote down. Anyways, the reason I'm sharing all of this is for one reason. It's a year later and all this crazy stuff is going on right now and I can even bet that it might even slow down for a second and then everything's gonna be peaceful and we just better be very aware that if it becomes peaceful all of a sudden, I would be, I'd be opening my eyes to that and saying, wait a second, why is it so peaceful after it's been like this? I just wanna warn that muscle testing, I, I don't agree with it and I don't normally get on here and say my opinions, but I'm saying it as a warning. This was my testimony as to what happened to me and all of a sudden I felt like I was not under the protection of Yahweh because of this experience I'm telling you. I thought I was doomed forever. I really did. Not that Yahweh does that, but we walk away and he, he will not forsake us. There's things that we can do that can walk away from our faith. And I'm warning against that. Please, if you see an open door with this, um, you see an open door, you know, that you feel like is in your life, I'm asking you to just pray about it. Ask, ask Yahweh to forgive you and ask him to show it to you if it's right. Because I'm telling you, for me, it was wrong. And the, as soon as I ditched it, I was completely at peace and back to normal. And I felt like I was back under the umbrella of protection. And, but I feel like when something like that happens in your life, I have many testimonies, but this particular one, it's one of those ones that you just feel like, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to share this so that so this doesn't happen to somebody else. It's a subtle thing. So um, I'm praying that this will reach at least one person. And Yahweh loves you. And he really did send his son to die for you. And he shed his blood. He was innocent. But he did it for you because without him doing that, we, you were going to have to pay for your sin. And I just pray that if you don't have Yahweh in your life, God, that's, you know, if you don't have him in your life, 
Um, if you ask him into your heart, he really will guide you and he will, he will help you um, to get through the rest of this life of yours. And with him comes peace that passes all understanding. And I will be praying that there, this reaches at least one person. So Yahweh loves you and thank you for taking the time to listen to this. I hope that it helps somebody. And if you feel like it was helpful, pass it to someone that you think needs the information and the testimony. And God bless you. So God bless you and comment if you need prayer or anything like that. I put your name in the comments and I really will be praying for you concerning this or anything else and be blessed.